In this tutorial, we're going to create a cosmic wind tunnel effect on our bike rider footage. We'll use echo, vector blur, CC toner, levels, fast blur, wiggler, luma track mats, overlays, and add blend modes. So let's begin. Let's go ahead and drag our bike rider footage into the create new composition icon. And we're going to change the composition settings to 10,000 and 900 on the height. So 10,000 on the width, 900 on the height. We're going to move our bike rider all the way to the right hand side of the screen. I'm going to set a position keyframe for that. We're going to go to the end of the timeline and move him all the way to the left hand side of the screen. Okay. I'm going to go window wiggler and make sure you have both of your keyframes selected and I want you to set the dimensions from all independently to Y and the frequency you're going to do at one so one time per second and the magnitude is going to be set to 50 let's hit apply so you can see that gives us this up and down movement Okay. Now, while we have all of these keyframes selected on the Y, let's just drag that so that touches the bottom. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and pre-compose this. Layer, pre-compose. We'll call this Bike Rider 1. We'll make sure we have move all attributes into the new composition and click OK. So I want you to go and change your composition settings now to the HDTV preset of 1280 by 720 and zoom out a little bit go to the beginning of the timeline and I'm going to move my bike rider let's say about here so if I look at my position I can set a keyframe I'm gonna to go to the end and move my bike rider all the way down to about here and I'll go back up to fit up to 100% so this is what I have. My bike rider is pretty much still in that same position, but now he's going up and down. Okay. All right. So we're going to pre-compose again, layer, pre-compose, call this bike rider two. And we're going to do some um, colored lights uh, working with our footage. So let's go and add a new adjustment layer. And that adjustment layer is going to have the effect CC toner. And we're going to make the CC toner a green. And we're going to put that on as a blend mode of add. So right now there's a lot of green on our footage. I want to make it a little bit less than this. So I'm going to select bike rider and duplicate him and drag him to the top of the layer stack. So he's going to be actually a track map for the adjustment layer. There's a couple of things we need to do before changing the track map from none to Luma. So I want to go to effect color correction tint and I want to go effect color correction levels and I want to go effect blur and sharpen fast blur. So basically what's happening is the tint made the image black and white, so it makes a better mask. The levels, I can actually see how much green I'm going to add by bringing in the level. So this way I know that I'm only affecting this part of his face. And the blurriness, I can just soften up what the light is going to do when it affects the footage underneath. So now I'm going to change the adjustment layers blend mode from none into a luminance mat so this way if I turn this on and off you can see there's some green reacting to the bike rider okay now I want this to actually flicker on and off so I'm going to select the adjustment layer and actually keyframe the blend mode I'm type the letter U so I can see the keyframes I'm going to go to the end of the timeline and set a keyframe there. Now, 
the next step is kind of weird because it's an actual bug that we have to work around. Um, we're going to set a wiggler to this so that it turns on and off. So in here, the frequency is actually going to be 10 and the magnitude is going to be 100. And hit apply. So what should be happening is that this number from 0 should actually be going from 0 to 100 in random numbers. Um, again, this is a bug, so you do have to work around this. So I'm going to undo that and actually save my file and quit out of After Effects and open After Effects again. So hopefully Adobe sees this tutorial and works this bug out. Uh, go back to Bike Rider. Select Blend with Original. Set my frequency back to 10, my magnitude back to 100, and hit Apply again. So now if you watch the Blend with Original numbers, you can see they're changing from 0 to 100 and some numbers in between. Okay, So this is going to give us this sort of flickering effect on the lights on our bike rider. Okay, so the lights will look like they're going on and off. Now, if you want to make this more intense, you can go ahead and duplicate the actual adjustment layer. You can change the add to a color. That would, of course, bring more of this green this intense green into the shot, you can change that to an overlay. Okay, so I actually like it as an overlay. So we have one adjustment layer, the blend mode is overlay, and the adjustment layer on top, the blend mode is add. And this is what we're getting. Okay, all right. So that part is done. Now we want to create these wind tunnel kind of streaks off of our bike rider. So we're going to start basically from the beginning again, but we're going to go uh, into bike rider one and we're going to duplicate this. So bike rider one, I want you to rename him bike rider one echo. Okay. And we're going to open that up. And he's doing the same movement because he's duplicated. And we're going to add a couple of effects to him. So the first effect is we're going to get rid of his color. So effect, color correction, uh, tint. The next one is going to be uh, levels, effect, color correction, levels. If you want to zoom this up a little bit, you can see. Okay. And we're going to make his levels a little bit brighter and a whole lot darker. So this is what we're getting, okay? Now, we're going to go effects, blur and sharpen, fast blur. And we're going to soften this up a little by just putting the number 2. And we're going to go effects, blur and sharpen, fast blur again, and set this one to a horizontal dimension and set it to 100, okay? Now, we can go in and add one more level to this effect color correction levels and we're going to just brighten this up just a hair okay and also darken this just a hair as well so we have our bike rider or sort of like a highlight silhouette of our bike rider so let's go ahead and pre-compose this layer pre-compose move all attributes into the new composition and we'll call this bike rider 2 echo okay so this is the important part um you have to make a decision now when you add the echo effect it's going to duplicate the frames so what happens is the blur is basically if we set the echo to 150 the blur is going to be 150 echoes so it's going to blur 150 times um, the smarter way to do this is make sure you're you're exactly where you want to be at this point before adding the echoes and actually go ahead and render this part so that's what we're going to do now so let's go composition add to render queue I'm going to make sure that I'm 
importing so I don't have to go and look for this and I'm rendering out as animation. Click OK. Um, it's going to be named Bike Rider 1 Echo and just hit render. Okay, now that that's finished rendering, uh, we can go back and drop in Bike Rider 1 Echo. I'm not going to delete Bike Rider um, 2 Echo, the comp, because I might have to come back to that. So now that I have this piece of footage uh, fully rendered, I can add the effect, effect time echo. And we're going to set the number of echoes to, let's say, 150, 150 echoes. And this will take a second to process. Okay. So now that we have this long streaming echo, we can actually um, adjust it a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually 150 might have been too much. Let's try 90. And from there, I'm going to say the starting intensity is going to be 0.1. All right. And the decay is going to be 0.98. So the decay is the back end of your echo, and the starting intensity is the front end of your echo. So at this point, I can actually take both of these and pre-compose them one more time. I'll call this Bike Rider 3 Echo. I'm going to change my composition settings. back to 1280 by 720 and I'm going to steal some of the keyframes from Bike Rider 2. So I'm going to steal the position keyframes from Bike Rider 2. Make sure I'm at the beginning of timeline. Paste them on my echo. Make sure that they're there. Go back to Bike Rider go to Bike Rider 1 Echo and just drop this all the way at the top. Put this on as an add layer. Go ahead and color correct this as well. Uh, effect color correction CC toner. I'm going to change that to green to match the green lighting. Uh, if I want to go a little bit more stylized I can add another effect effect blur and sharpen CC vector blur set that to 25 on the amount so you can see it's kind of giving me these little tails in here and then just set this to render and we're done hope you enjoyed